Hey, welcome back everyone. We have another stick here lined up for our next walking stick. This is, I believe, ash. It's been drying for close to a year now. Super hard, very heavy. So we're going to have to trim that down. Um, much taller than it needs to be. It's a good, uh, probably six feet tall. It's got a little bit of a bend here at the bottom. Uh, so we'll probably cut it off right before this bend. But other than that, relatively straight. It's got a few uh, few warm holes. I'm sensing the wood has a beautiful uh, little patina to it on the inside. Once we get some oil on there, obviously take off some of these knots, smooth it all down. Um, but we're going to do something fancy up top. Uh, it's not going to be a wood spirit, but uh, going to do some kind of little design up top. So we've got our... Uh, coffee ready oh and uh, as we're filming this this weekend turned into uh, 1,000 subscribers so uh, I'd like to thank everyone watching uh, it's really made this uh, this channel super fun to do and uh, it keeps me going certainly on making more and more of these videos so thanks to you and let's get started Okay, so I've marked out a series of notches. They alternate uh, by about half the width all the way around. And each one of these is going to be a hole that we're going to go to about the center. Uh, what I want to do is make this entire top piece hollow, make a type of geometric pattern on the outside. So let's go over to drill press for about 5,000 holes. <laughs> A 
little hard to keep the pattern going at certain points. I mean, you are going on a regular surface, but it's coming out pretty good. The hardest part is cleaning out all the, uh, the little bits of wood from the inside, but the light's coming through it nicely. And I think we'll uh, continue on with the Dremel now. finalize that. We uh, sanded it all down. I saved you guys watching me sand. You notice, uh, let me see if I can get that through. Nice hollow form. I think the pattern came out great. Little spot here. Let me move that here. Little spot here for the handle. Thinned it right down because we're going to do a power cord wrap. And sanded everything down to, uh, down to where we're going to put a little rubber foot. Now let's put some finish on. So what we got, is we're going to be putting on some uh, teak oil. Our normal procedure. Just a nice wipe on oil finish. See there that nice luster puts on, darkens it up. It really uh, pops the grain, I see in the light there. Really nice look to uh, to the wood. Gives a beautiful finish. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, show you guys what it looks like at the end. So we're on to doing the paracord wrap. Going to do this section that we hollowed out. We're using uh, well, with red paracord this time. It is uh, five thirty seconds of an inch paracord. Just got a fifty foot length from a big box store. So what we're going to do is we have to start this off, and because we need extra hands, we're going to be taping a section down here, so the loose end at the bottom. Just tape that down. 
so it holds in place come up let's take a little extra here create a loop just above where you're going to be finishing so come up make a loop and this is going to be where you're you're going to be locking in the end so just hold that in place get another piece of tape tape that in place that way you have your hands free to start doing the the, the wraps so let's go ahead and do that so starting at the bottom you just start going around keeping a lot of tension on that's one thing that you have to uh, takes a little bit of practice especially with the slippery surface here um, it wants to slip at the beginning but as you do a few more wraps or a few more turns it uh, it holds in place the only thing is you have to keep tension on this end so just doing this and spinning it around we'll make our way all the way to the top so let's do that so we reached our way to the top and one last one fits right in underneath that lip so we'll take our tape off to expose the loop and what we will do is take the free end and pass it through this loop if we can actually do it now bear with me I've got 50 feet it's a new pack so I just got to feed all this through there we go now you have to keep tension on the free end so I'll do that then what we're gonna do is take the tape off the bottom actually do it surprisingly for painters tape this one's pretty good let's try this end there we go and what we're going to do is pull this end down <laughs> easier said than done sometimes there we go what it does is it locks in that top loop and you can let go now what happens is you have a nice perfect paracord wrap never come undone unless you want it to what we're going to do is we're going to cut these ends melt it down with just a standard lighter and uh, our wrap will be done and it fits perfectly within the little notches we made makes a nice smooth transition for your hand all the way through and uh, makes a nice grip. There you have it.